diagram that depicts the situation. We've got a tower that's some number of kilometers high. And this horizontal red dashed line represents the uh, uh, horizontal line that we use to measure the angle of depression to the different points on the sides of the lake. So the angle of depression to point A is seven degrees and the angle of depression to point B from the tower, top of the tower is 13 degrees because this line right here and the red dashed line are parallel. The angle of elevation from point A to the top of the tower is seven degrees because of alternate interior angles. And similarly for the angle of elevation from B to the top of the tower, is 13 degrees because of alternate interior angles. We want to find the height of the tower, which I've labeled with the variable y, and we'll probably have to use this distance right here as an unknown x, but we do know the distance from a to b across the lake is one kilometer. So since we have two unknowns, we're looking for two equations. And if we use right triangle trigonometry and look at the big this big triangle here that has an acute angle of seven degrees, the tangent of seven degrees has to be y over x plus one, this distance right here. And the tangent of 13 degrees has to be opposite over adjacent y over x. So there's our two equations. The question is how do we solve that pair of equations for y and x if we wanted to? Since we're trying to solve for y, my idea is to solve the first equation for x in terms of y, and then substitute that expression into the second equation. So that's what I did here, equation one prime. I isolated this variable x by multiplying both sides by x, and then dividing by the tangent of 13. Now I'm gonna take this expression, or x and substitute it into this equation right here. And now I've got equation two prime, the tangent of seven equals y over y divided by the tangent of 13 plus one. And before I start simplifying and solving for y, I decided I'm going to get rid of this complex fraction by multiplying numerator and denominator of the quote big fraction by the tangent of 13. So in the numerator, I get y tangent of 13. In the denominator, tangent of 13 <coughs> times this first fraction, the tangent of 13s cancel out and I get y and the tangent of 13 times one is the tangent of 13. So now I've got this equation and I wanna isolate y. So I multiply both sides by y plus the tangent of 13, which gives me this expression right here on the left and leaving y tangent of 13 on the right. Uh, from there, I want to get the terms containing y on the same side of the equation. So I transpose this term to the right side uh, and then factored out this y from both terms. And finally, y equals the tangent of seven times the tangent of 13 <clears throat> divided by tangent of 13 minus the tangent of seven. And the units are in kilometers. So try entering that on your calculator. We would expect to get a decimal point something because it's unlikely that the tower is greater than one kilometer in height. That would be a mile high. Uh, so enter this into your calculator and see if you don't get something like 0 0.2 blah, blah, blah. I'll let you figure that out. There you go.